Welcome to Excel 2010 Business Math Video 41. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Excel 2010 Business Math Chapter 4, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're on the sheet credit card fees. Now, we're a business, and we're going to have, if I add some blue here, we're going to have credit card sales. So throughout the day, we had these, and we have a few refunds, and we need to figure out since this is a credit card, these are amounts that our customers are paying us. We've got to figure out how much actually will show up in our account when the credit card deposits it. And credit card companies usually deposit the amounts quickly, like within the next day. So your business sells flowers. You accept credit card from that company. When you swipe the credit card from a customer when they are buying flowers, the credit card company will charge your business a fee. It's always by contract. It's all over the place. If you're a gigantic business like Target, your rate is going to be really small. If you're a little boomerang seller like the business I was, I got charged like 3.5%. It was really terrible. So that varies. Okay, so you get charged that fee and then the money will be deposited in your bank about one day. So here's our credit card sales, and if you have any refunds, you'd have to take into consideration those also. So the first trick to calculating, again, these are what your customers paying you, and then the next day or so, your the credit card company will put the money in your bank account, transfer it in. All right, so the first step in figuring this out is adding these all up. So I'm going to click here and use Alt equals. That's the keyboard shortcut for auto sum. And now I need to add up all of the credit card fees, Alt equals, and highlight the refunds. All right? Net credit card uh, sales equals amount in minus amount out. Now, why would you ever have a, a refund? Obviously, customer comes back and then returns something, and you run a refund. So it's the difference between those. Now, here's the total fee. Credit, oh look at that, it's not even spelled, <laughs> credit card fee. Again, this could be all over the place. Now we need to calculate our total fee in this cell right here, but this is a percentage and underneath is the number and I could even check this and then apply the general number format or control shift tilde and you can see it's the number 0 0.0195. So when we multiply this decimal times that decimal, we're going to get, probably get a lot of extra little pennies. So we are going to have to round. Now before I even do that, I'm just going to check over here. Hey, this is the amount of money we would receive if we made all cash sales. But since the credit card company is collecting for us and they're going to deposit the amount tomorrow, they charge us a fee. And that's the percentage of the total that they will charge as a fee. So I can see a bunch of extra pennies. So when I get here on this cell to calculate the fee, I'm going to use the round function. Now our calculation is this. That's the net credit card sales times the credit card fee. Comma, number of digits. That's just where you want to round to. So pennies, you always put a 2. That means round to the penny. All right, And if you increase the decimal, you'd see that would work. And now we can do our calculation equals net credit card sales minus this. And that's the amount that will show up in your account, usually uh, quite quickly. Sometimes at the end of the day, sometimes within 24 hours. All right, so the cust so we are the business. These are from all of our customers, so we have to uh, pay the fee. The customer doesn't pay a fee. Customer pays on their balance if they don't pay it on time. Now let's look at another example. Let's uh, come right to here. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. Now, if you ran a boom, boomerang selling internet site and you sold $100 worth of boomerangs to a customer and collected tax because the sale is in the state, and maybe that law will change soon, actually, what would the credit card fee be at 3.5% be, and how much, would the, you, how much would be credit to your business merchant checking account? That just means how much will show up in your banking account tomorrow. Now, Let's go ahead and calculate. There's going to be two parts, or two, one different part than the example we did before. There's sales tax, right? Let's see what happens here. All right, so number of boomerangs you sold is five. 
Price each is 20. So I'm just going to multiply these. There's no decimal, so I'm just going to multiply. 20 bucks each times 5. Maybe I even add some dollar sign. Uh, currency, Control Shift 4. If I put this back in edit mode and then hit Enter, it sucks the formatting from there. OK, well, we have 100 bucks. We, as the business um, selling the boomerangs, have to collect the sales tax and then remit that to whatever government, right? So sales tax is this times that. Oh, wait a second. I bet a round, right? So I'm going to come here <coughs> and use round. Multiplying decimals. Got a round. And it's to the penny, so two. So $8.25. <coughs> Wonder why, I don't know why that didn't get the dollar sign. So I'm going to Control Shift 4. That's the keyboard shortcut for currency. All right, now, customer pays us. Oh, OK, so we have to add these. I'm going to Alt equals. Now, notice there's an example if you use the keyboard shortcut for auto sum, it gets it wrong. So I'm going to redirect it. As long as the dancing ants are still dancing, you can click and redirect it. So we run the credit card, 108.25, right? We still have to take this and send it off to the government at some later date, right? But since we ran this amount on our credit card, they're going to charge us a fee on the entire amount because they're collecting for us 108.25. So the credit card fee, and I'm just going to go straight to round, is that whole amount times this credit card. And again, I mentioned as a small business owner, I had a huge credit card fee. And actually, that's pretty much true to this day. Comma, and I'm going to the penny, so I'm going to use 2. That 2 tells the round function to which position to round. It's going to round to the decimal 1, 2 to the penny. 379. So the amount that I will appear in my account tomorrow is that. That's the full amount that I ran the credit card for. Boop. Times, I'm subtracting the fee. Now notice, uh, we, we still have to pay the whole $8.25 that we collected in sales tax. But that's how you do, do that. All right, uh, in our next video, we'll talk about bank reconciliation. All right, see you next video.